Mission 17. And once again, we must apparently face the eagle. Again, not entirely clear why they have to keep doing this to test anything. Nevertheless, we must face Eagle. And once again, we are going to be using Andy on this mission. Wings of Victory! Oh, ain't that the truth? Poor Andy. So, this is the only one that I'm aware of of the Green Earth missions, where Andy and Sammy, in fact, do the same mission, in that it's the same map. But Sammy's version is harder, because A, it's done in fog, and B, Eagle has a few extra units. Most notably, there's a bomber hiding in this corner up here, just to really screw you up. But with Andy, you get to play it on easy mode, and easy mode is good. So we can see what's coming at us, and it's this little Air Force brand Marilyn. So the first objective is to prepare yourself for that. It's gonna suck real bad. So I'm just making sure there's no fighters around that I'm not taking into account. No, he only has two and they're both up there. So to begin with, you can start hammering these ground units with this bomber. Badow. And then you wanna bring your fighters up to the top of the map. This recon is useless in a non-fog map, but this is fine. Just seeing where it's safe to go. Safe! safe to go here. It's probably going to be an HQ capture once again, because you've got this mountain range which you have to go down through the middle of, and it's very foresty, which means you know, most units being slowed down considerably. And tire units in particular will struggle with the trees. It's hard to drive through them. So it's a bit of a slog to kill everything. You want to transport cop to your way to the HQ and take it. Which should be relatively easy to do. I'm pretty sure he's going to move everything out of the way for you to do that. So let's prepare. Just to make sure we don't wander into fighter range. It should be good. We need to hang out like here, really. And you want to get the missile as far forward as it will go, ideally. Also, we can use this APC as bait, I think. Yes, indeed. Well, not quite, actually. All right, next turn. Next turn. But then the missile can move up. And we can do some capturing. We all like capturing, right? Well, if you don't, then fuck you. <laughs> Because you should like capturing, it's the way that you earn money, by stealing everything, imposing tax. So, let's bring our fighters up to start defending against the little air force. We can also use our battlecopter down here for the foreseeable. Start dealing with those units before they become an issue. And then we can deploy our ground forces in the usual fashion by advancing. Aggressively! It's the best way to advance. Unless you're talking about Game Boy Advance, perhaps. Haha! <laughs> Relevance. Anyway, see what Eagle's got up his sleeves. Well, it's mainly air units, let's not kid ourselves. Being reasonably conservative with bombers, that's quite unusual. I guess, because I've been practicing the Sammy version of this map a lot. Um. I'm used to having to stay back and let the air units attack you, and they come out a lot more aggressively than this. So, that's that's pretty novel, right? Anyway, so the best thing we want to do here, there's no anti-air units around, this is the only one, and it's fucking miles away. We can get the jump on these fighters, which is perfect. So, hit each one before it can attack. That should knock them both down a size a bit. Now, we can start preparing the other air defences, the land-borne ones, and start setting up a decoy for those bombers to come and hit. Because who cares about them, right? These two units, mainly. Recon's useless outside the fog. I must admit, when I'm playing Advanced Wars, I rarely find uses for recons even in fog maps, but doubly so, not in fog maps. If that makes any sense at all. Which it should, by this point. Okay, so that bomb is pretty much locked out of getting past the barricade. That one, not so much. We might be able to do something about that. We put this... Hang on. I don't want to do anything stupid. Like put an anti-air into range immediately. We just want to put it where it's, you know, relevant to the conversation. 
I don't want to lose anything valuable, so I'm constantly checking range. With bombers in particular, you're going to want to do this a lot. Just to make sure you don't make any horrible errors of judgement and uh, foul up everything. There, yeah, that should cover me, I think. Between the fighters and all. There's nowhere the fighters can't get except for... Right here! And protected my T-Copter! So then, I mean, the fighters might come down here. Mm, I'm a little concerned that they might, to be perfectly honest. Also, there's this, I don't want to get too near to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep these units nearby to the rest of my forces so that I don't get, uh, the fighters can't get away from mine. I might lose a, the bomber or the battlecopter, but it wouldn't be the end of the universe. I'm expecting a lightning strike here, though. Oh, no, not quite. Fantastic. I've rendered you weak! I have- ah! It's alright, I didn't like that battlecopter anyway. He said mean things about my mother! And I do not take kindly to this behaviour! Alright, perfect. As you can now see, um, death to our enemies. I am going to go ahead and use my power though, because I want full health fighters. Let's fix that shit! Repairing. A little bit of a waste, perhaps, but, you know, why not? So now, I'm going to use my fighters to take his fighters out completely. So now he has no defense against mine. Or indeed my bomber, which remains untouched when the battlecopter got shot down. He's moved into range of the missile, so blah! That's one dead bomber. And I'm pretty sure I can get a second one. Momentarily. I might not even lose the recon into the bargain. This is perfect. A perfect situation situation for me. So now I can wall it in and this transport copter is going to start heading over to this criminally unguarded HQ over here. Meanwhile, yeah, we just box that in and the rest should be relatively straightforward now, which is uh, which is nice to be perfectly honest. It's not been easy for a while. The last two missions I said, oh yeah, hoof if these are really easy. Oh, I went and fucked them up, didn't I? So, here we are. Okay, here's the lightning strike. I don't foresee it achieving much, though. It's come a little too late. If he had it last turn, it could have really hurt me. Won't even kill that. And he leaves himself horribly vulnerable to whatever units I choose to shoot it down with, but considering he has no other air units to speak of except this bomber over here, I don't really need two fighters to deal with that. Or do I? No, not really. But just for spite. Aha! And yeah! He gets the glory today. So I can't reach that bomber yet, but I can get damn close. So yeah, nowhere that bomber can run. And that anti-air over there is looking pretty fucking vulnerable too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Advanced Wars 1 Lightning Strike, for making Eagle's units weaker when you use it, rather than stronger. Okay. So let's start setting up our defensive units. The missile is no longer of any use to anyone. This is fine. Nobody cared anyway. And let's start moving out. Should have this one sewn up, to be perfectly honest. The rest is kind of a, a moot point. Excellent. As I said, the Sammy version of this is much harder, mainly because of the fog. Because, as we've discussed, air units plus fog plus lightning strike in Advance Wars 1 equals maximum, maximum bullshit. bullshit. It will be deployed against to you. This bomber didn't even move. Actually, I did kind of need both fighters just to get rid of it immediately without having to hang about. My bomber is going to start taking care of the Griblio units. And other than that, it's pretty much just going to be a shoot everything in the face kind of deal, isn't it? Oh yes, it is. That's the best kind of deal you can make. One way to shoot them in the face. Alright, and then we can just swoop in down here. In the Sammy version, there's also a missile hidden right here, just to really spite you. Um, that should be it. That should be all I need to do here. As I said, the Andy missions are easier, and I'm grateful for this. So a couple more turns, and we will wrap this one up like a Christmas present. It's not even Christmas anymore. You know it. Okay, I get a sneaky shot there, couldn't I? So if I get lucky. Alright, let's take out this medium tank, because I don't like it. It offended me with its presence. And then, can I make that work? Yes, I can. So we'll take this tank out, and then take this 
artillery out. So we've satisfied the power requirement, I would say. Everything else is just our toy. I mean, um, uh, shut up. And just for pure spite, to make sure it's literally impossible for Eagle to stop me winning, I'm going to do this. Ah, <laughs> get to me now, bitch! You cannot do this. You cannot do anything of any usefulness. This much is fact now. Speaking of facts, here's your imminent defeat. Kill a tank with a bomber. It's the most fun that you can have. Legally. Hang on, can I get both of these? I feel like I can. Get you. And if we lead with the anti-air on that one, should be able to... Yeah! Maximum kill points achieved. And then maximum victory points achieved. Naha! That didn't take much. I mean, come on, look at him. Does he really look like the kind of guy who can go around invading anywhere? Anyway, that kind of figures, right? So, maximum financial rewards. Maximum promotions too, maybe? Hint, hint. Yes, now I'm an ebon hen. Fuck all y'all. Let's save our game.